Hello guys, here is Hasuha. Who is this guy? Is he going to be the next big trend on YouTube? Or is he just going to be average? Well, we don't know yet, but we're here to check it out. Hello guys, here is Hasuha. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Mikhail Galucho. You can call me Mikey. And today we are going to go through Spencer Cornelia channel and try to figure out what he has been doing right during the last year. I'm speechless. And <laughs> but first of all, make sure to subscribe, like this video. Have you turned your notifications on? If you have not, make sure to turn your notifications on. All right, now let's get started. At first, Spencer started making videos only on the sports related nature making videos about his journey, documenting his journey um, on the fitness uh, and doing exercise, squats and, and all this stuff, right? And then he started changing his content about two years ago and he was more focused on doing uh, regarding jobs uh, and some kind of personal finance, something like that. And then he started Started making more and more uh, valuable content, I think, uh, at least from my point of view. And lately, he has been doing pretty good, actually. Especially this year, he had a few videos with more than 100k views. There is way more than what we have right now. For example, we got here this video about. Why your favorite authors go broke? That got like uh, 192,000 views. Then uh, there's, I think, I'll, I saw one more. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. There's this one that's me, that says, uh, Why your favorite musicians are broke? There is half a million views. And uh, he got, I don't know, probably uh, another, I think, 10 videos with more than 100k views which is actually pretty good considering that he on, I mean only got 86k uh, subs so he's doing, he's been doing pretty good actually this this year but we're here to see why he's doing so good lately he's been going like some kind of trend and making making his own way and testing new stuff I also like this this video that he has, like, uh, which is basically like a, a, an evaluation of how much money YouTube pays him, which is actually really interesting, and I think like most of people actually are interested in, in, on that content. Before we get any deeper, make sure to subscribe and like this video. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, first of all, regarding on YouTube. There are mostly two, three stats that are actually are really valuable. One is the engagement that somebody has on your channel. So the actual time that the viewers are connected on your channels and in your videos. How much a person does watch your channel. I mean your video, like you get the point, I think. And the second main data is uh, about like the thumbnails. So how many people that go through your thumbnail actually click on it and watch your videos? That these two are the main factors that actually help you grow and go viral, basically. Having said so, basically, uh, if you if you think about like the major YouTuber like uh, PewDiePie, KSI, Casey Nested, David Dobrik, uh, Logan Paul, his brother also Jake Paul, they have been super good in these two factors. So basically, how they're able to attract the audience and engage the viewer to stay connected the whole video. And uh, of course, in a business related niche, uh, the people that are actually watching the video is because they, they 
are already interested in that kind of specific topic. So it's more easily that somebody is going to watch the whole video and go all the way through it than, you know, opening a random video about someone on the hype house or, or whatever. And if you don't know them you and you don't understand that word, you just go one time and then you're out of that. But these particular videos that he made brings actually real content that people that look at it, that actually research that, are more willing to watch all the video. This is one major aspect that he has that is actually super good and he's and that actually helped him a lot in, in the growth that he had and he's keeping having this grow actually so the second thing is thumbnails of course his thumbnails are, are like really are really different between each other because uh, he's trying new stuff constantly which is really good that he keeps changing a little bit because he's trying to improve himself and that kind of stuff so he that's pretty good one of the things that I like most is probably like uh, the length of his of the, his videos uh, that normally like uh, 8 minutes to 15 minutes depending on, on the topic on the argument that he is actually talking about but pretty much around that which is pretty good considering that he is just talking he is he's talking about something show images uh, and describing his own point of view that it actually like uh, that it makes sense actually like it's not like some kind of made up stuff uh, so this is pretty good actually I just check a little bit of everything so alright let's go through his channel and see what he's doing analyze a little bit his latest videos and his thumbnails one of his latest videos is uh, this one about why NBA athletes go broke and then there's just a picture of Tyler Hero which if you don't know him uh, he's one of the big biggest rookies of this year he's been in the NBA finals he played in the Miami the Miami Heat and he's he's really good I like him um, and basically he go through like a video I think is uh, for uh, I think it's Vogue, I mean, it's, it's probably Vogue or, or like healthcare, something like that. So, it's, it's basically an, an easy video about Tyler Hero talking about his first million and how he spent it. And he just go through that and explain his point of view and what he's doing wrong for him. But basically everything that he says, it actually makes sense. Why? Because every time that he claims about anything, he's always ready to explain his reasons and why he believes that. First point. For the second point, he has like iconic videos. I mean like not iconic for iconic, but he got like a series of videos that you can actually see how they, he repeats them. He repeat the same format and you can see how it evolves during the time which is pretty interesting about like Kane West uh, or Dunlop, Ted Lopez the second point that I want to make clear is that he has different type of formats of, which are like mostly like a series of videos that he keep going and growing during the channel which one of them is the fake gurus I'll check the cause he he doesn't use the fake gurus he uses another word uh, yeah he is is charlton yeah he say uh, authentic or charlton series which is pretty interesting considering that right now in all this globalized world in all this world and everybody ha can have his own opinion and can talk about something and you just trying to provide people a uh, you don't have to believe everything that everything claims in it but actually like you have to think rationally as he says in one of his latest videos he, he's trying to 
changing more videos, changing his content a little bit, and trying to reach more people, like different type of people. So right now he's looking for numbers, basically, like different, more people that actually like bringing more views, uh, more subs, uh, and relative more money. But also like with the latest. I mean ladies, uh, with the lowest, oh my god, it's, I don't know, I just forget how to talk in English, like, oh my god, please, videographer, put the word right here, yeah. yeah, he got a low CPM right now, but he's reaching for more people, which will actually bring him more money, but now, let's talk about money, how much is he making on this platform, on the YouTube talking, we're only covering his YouTube channel, and not his other businesses that he has outside YouTube, because mainly because we don't know them, so we can talk about something that we don't know, right? I, I mean, I really like him because of this. He got different videos about like each month, he got a video about how much money he made the last month only of YouTube. So, and this is like a, a way to keep track every time for like for his viewers and for himself too. And I really, I really like it because if you want to start off you with YouTube, it, this is actually like pretty good because it gives you like a real, real taste of what he's, of what you can make actually. In October, he made eight point eight thousand dollars only from YouTube, and this is just ad revenue because he's saying like right now he's only focusing on ad revenue and nothing else, uh, I don't know why, but but actually, like, it's good, it's good. Uh, I think he's going to keep increasing with everything, because basically, he's starting getting more views. And more views, which are longer watch time per video, will bring the YouTube algorithm to suggest more the same video to other people. And since he got different video lately, like uh, videos related to sports, uh, like Ty the Tyler Hero video, video talking about how to grow on YouTube, and videos talking about music and how they got they get broke, and I think he got a pretty good chance to, I mean, not go viral yet, but I think we can hear we're gonna hear from him in a few probably like in a few six like six months about that I mean Spencer if you're watching this video I want to let you know that you're doing pretty good keep going I'm going to keep going too with this channel so anyone who's watching this video just leave a comment here now we're almost at the end of the video I would like to make some final consideration about what we just talked basically he has a really specific niche which is mostly like money analyze how to spend money and how it is better to spend it all right and this can involve like multiple type of genres like athletes artists uh, regular people literally anything all right but the format of his content is really is so easy to understand that literally anyone can follow him through life it's like almost talking with him so you actually go to almost all of the video which is pretty impressive the second thing that he's doing good is diversification he's trying to grow his channel so he's trying to try a lot of stuff that actually is working more or less I mean something is working more than other but he's getting a lot of results a lot of data from everything so he actually can understand what is better than anything and actually later focus, focus on that thing. I, I think personally it's what I would do so I think he's going to do that too probably and the last thing that he's doing correctly for me is uh, the length of, of his videos which is uh, pretty long considering like maybe other youtubers uh, and big names uh, and all that kind of and all of them but in the end it's really working for him i think because his content is pretty engaging for the people that are actually interested 
in that specific content. So he's targeting a close range of people that is interested in money and how the people manage money and how to improve their skills of, man of money management. And therefore, those people that he's referring to with his video are more likely to engage for more time on his videos. Yes, I did it. Therefore, Spencer, you're doing really good. Keep it up. And you who's watching this video, leave a comment down below and tell me who would you like to see next on this new format that we have him. And also make sure to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and smash the like button. I'll see you next time. Here's Hustle Hub.